Okay, in this video, I show you how to build confidence interval charts using the stock charts in Excel. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the average, the standard deviation, and the sample size for my data set. need the average, the standard deviation, and the sample size. The other thing uh, that I need is the confidence that I want to have. So um, let me put this off to the side. And so this is my confidence, and I want to put 0.95. So alpha would be equal 1 minus that. So this is also, uh, this would be also an input. So based on these, I can calculate this interval width, this confidence interval width. And it's equal to confidence is the formula, dot T. You grab alpha. In this case, it's based on a 95% confidence interval. Grab the standard deviation. Grab the sample size. I'm going to copy this to the right, so I'm going to hard code my reference to alpha. Okay. So that's the first part. The next part is to bring down your headers for the confidence interval chart. Now calculate the average. I mean, excuse me, the upper level, the lower level, and the average again. So the upper level is equal to the average plus the confidence interval width. The lower level is equal to the average minus the interval width. The average is just the average. Those numbers copy across. Okay, this is what we're going to plot. You have to have the form of upper, lower, and average. We're going to use the stock chart. The stock chart we're actually going to use, is, so this isn't a confidence interval chart, it's a stock chart. We're going to use this one. So if I grab this data, like that, and go grab this stock chart, grab this first one, then that's what we've got. This is the data set A, B, and C. This is the confidence interval. There's the upper, lower, and the middle is the average. And what we do when we interpret this is that if there's no overlap, then we can say that they're statistically different. If there's overlap, then we can say that there is no difference. So clearly B is different than C because there's no overlap. A and C are not um, statistically different because there's overlap. And then I would even argue that A and B are not statistically different because there's a tiny bit of overlap. And if there's any overlap, you, uh, you can't say that they're different. Okay, that's uh, how you can use the stock chart in Excel to plot confidence intervals. Thanks.